guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for episode 20 of season 7 of The Vampire Diaries. This time the title of the episode is Kill Them All. So yeah, very Game of Thrones type of thing. Well, it kind of just made me remind, it remind me of Game of Thrones, you know, to the Mad King. Oh no, he used to say, burn it all, burn it all. Okay. Sorry, it wasn't the same thing. <laughs> Anyways, I'm excited to watch a new episode of The Vampire Diaries. I'm excited to see how this season is going to end. After this episode, we only have two more episodes to go for The Vampire Diaries. And like I said, I'm excited to see how this season is going to end. I'm not going to deny that this is not my favorite season. It's not like a, like a terrible season because there is a still story. They're still telling a story even though it's a little bit repetitive at, at times uh it's just still a good story and you know most shows that are only on their i don't know second third season they lack of story they they are still able to have an amazing cast with everyone having a separate story and developing every single character so you have to you know give credit where credit is due and i think that the vampire diaries even though right now is not at their peak of amazing storytelling is still telling a beautiful story and I'm still here enjoying every second of it. Even if I, you know, complain sometimes, but that's who I am. And, you know, even if you love a show, sometimes you complain about certain things. So it's okay. I still love, love, absolutely love this show. And I cannot wait for the last two episodes. And then it's going to be bit, uh, uh, very, very bittersweet because we are going to reach the season the season finale, like the the last season of the show, and even though it's kind of cool that I ha that I will reach that point, it's still sad that we have reached this point. So, yeah, I'm kind of sad and happy, and you know all of that. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoy my reaction video. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. Uh, this episode and every single episode since season since the since season one finale, I think, is posted on Patreon on call reactions. So if you join now, you have a lot of things to catch up to watch like on call reactions for the show. It usually has a lot more reaction, a lot more talking. I talk about pretty much every single scene. It's just that sadly I cannot share every single thing with you guys because it gets copyrighted. So you guys get the edited version here, but you can go to Patreon, support the channel and get amazing perks like on call reactions, early access, and a bunch of other things. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, by the time that you're watching this on YouTube, episode 22 is already posted on Patreon. So if you want to go and check it out, that will be amazing. So yeah, that's it. Without further ado, let's just begin with season seven, episode 20 of The Vampire Diaries. <laughs> Why do they hate Bunny this much that he's, she's always suffering? I don't get it. My child. <gasps> oh, yes. Oh, no. Oh, she's so strong. If it's Catherine, I swear to God. I don't think so. <laughs> but I miss them. Catherine, Elena. Yeah, no one is gonna show this. Oh my god, Finch! <laughs> It's not a what. It's a who? It's not a who. Oh, what? It's what it does to you. <clears throat> Away your compassion. Are you shitting me? It takes away your compassion. What is this? It takes away your empathy. So it makes your you capacity for love. It makes you evil. Eating away at your soul's darkness. Oh, it's like an entity. I thought it was just compassion. Okay, 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 okay. Oh dear lord. Not to release You won't it. let Alex set free. Yeah, I think it sounds very dangerous. I Are you crossing your fingers? Bonnie, don't do it. Because Blondie left them on the front porch. <laughs> well, you're the authority on being hated, so why don't you tell me oh, how to deal with this situation? Up. Still mad, huh? <laughs> I'm not mad, I'm just tired. Yeah. He's next on my hit list. Three little words. I just don't care. <laughs> a guy working so hard to save his friend's life. Yeah. I live with Bonnie hating me. Just as long as she lives. 
Yeah. I gotta go. He has a soft side, okay, that people don't know about it. No. Okay, Matt. God. I'm sorry, he's just so annoying to me. Trouble. That is true. And she's a vampire, so. This fucking bitch looks like Elena, and I hate this. See, the crazy trend is getting out of this. I mean, not Freedom. to sound ungrateful, but you're willing to die for me. Oh, she's in love. Please, bitch. Doesn't make any sense. Just because love. you haven't lived seven lifetimes beyond your own. Now she has two already. That's what I never understand is longing for it. Wow, she really has a tragic story. Can you see what the vampire does? Even villains have a cool story. Background and all. This earth. Okay, what the hell do you do? do you, did you do it? Stefan. To get you him to want hate me you. to find a decent radio station to cover up the silence? <laughs> oh no, we're going down memory lane with that. Like we needed that. What were you looking at? Porn. Nothing. Face. To propose to her. Bitch. Pretty sure this isn't gonna make the list. Yes. He hasn't proposed yet. You haven't even given me a chance. Got the size right. Okay, you know what? Despite him being annoying sometimes, he does deserve to be happy. Are you thinking you're yet? Sergeant Donovan. It's got a nice ring to it, right? Not really, but okay. As long as you're happy and like out of my way, I'm happy with that. So does Mrs. Sergeant Donovan. <laughs> <laughs> so he deserved to be happy and she got killed for some reason. But you and I both know that's not what really happened. Wait, what? He killed her? Did he? Oh, God, Stefan. I still think it was wrong for you to abandon us, but I... Yeah. I forgive you. Oh, nope. You Bonnie. are not allowed to use the F word. You're gonna make it. Yeah. So I don't it's accept true. your forgiveness, you understand? You are gonna have to stay strong, okay? Okay. He's very sweet. I will. To a few people. And with a few people, I mean like two. You ready? But he's, 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 he's good sometimes. This will just make days. you sicker. <laughs> I'm not gonna let them use our Ashlyn and Wyatt's. What? Because they're having sex. Oh, okay. Lots, <laughs> lots of <laughs> intense, mind blowing. Sex. Uh, Raina was very descriptive. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I didn't have anything to say to him then, and I don't have anything to say about him now. If they walk away, okay. just less, like Damon, Damon with Bonnie, it's gonna be hard for what? her too. Cut your voicemail, four. Whatever time I have left, I want to spend it with you. Fuck, Here. man. So just come home. I cannot deal with this, okay? I cannot deal with this. I just watched episode 319 of the originals. I'm not dealing with another you death. You are right now. Okay. Been there for three years. Hey, but if Bunny dies, you, you get Elena back. You can't fight your way out of it. You can't kill your way out of it. The more I dug, the less sense it made. And why is it different? Where'd you find? The one to. But there was at least one vampire in Mystic Falls the night Penny died. Who was Stefan? It was you. Oh, fuck off. This is all you get, half? Do you really think that I would hurt Penny? Yeah, for sure. He said, oh, kill me, I'm kill you. So, I mean, okay. I gotta feel sorry for him right now. Oh, 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 shit, oh, shit. So romantic. They both really are kindred souls, right? No. They both deserve someone. Don't be sad. Didn't know that I could feel. I hate that. I decided I'm not gonna be. It worked for Beauty and the Beast. Whenever that beast. <laughs> 
He's so sweet. This is so fucking unfair. Hey, Reina. I'm still mad at you. <laughs> okay, it's different. Through hell and I'm not ready to let that go yet. It's okay. But don't think I'm not noticing all the good you've been doing lately. He's different. He's so good. Stephen is so good. Even if he wants to stay mad at him, he cannot well, not like see done, yeah. the good in his brother. No, we're not. Such a hero. Are you shitting me? Now you're gonna tell me the truth. Yeah, there's no need for that. Maybe he saw what happened and he just wanted to make you calm and... I don't know. Just when I thought you were... It's for you. Shit, this is very complicated. Yep. Right there. Yeah. Well, good thing we got kidnapped. <laughs> that gives you a little bit. <laughs> I love Caroline. <laughs> you were right. Both of us shouldn't have. Come. You will only make it worse. Oh, am I supposed to trust Just you? Just tell him, Stefan. You, you, were the last you are person not. To see Penny alive. Look, I, I get that Stefan is trying to do something good for him, but it's not up to Stefan to decide what Matt goes th through or not. What Matt knows or what Matt doesn't know. Like, he doesn't have that right. He doesn't get to play God or whatever right now. No, he needs... And especially because he's already been caught in the lie. So it's better for him to just be honest with Matt. You know, I think... Yeah, Matt annoys the hell out of me, okay? Most of the time. But I think that in all honesty, he does deserve to be happy. Like, I don't need to see it. But, like, he does deserve to be happy. And this girl was making him, making him happy... Uh, and, and the fact that she got, uh, rip up his hand is, is very, uh, something that I can, you know, sympathize with him. Not sympathize, because I've never had a girl get taken away from me. But, like, I can understand him and empathize with him. You know what I mean? Then maybe you should pull the trigger, Matt. No, then no, no, don't give me an happened. idea. Don't give me any ideas. You don't want to know. I Say need... It. To know. Yeah, give him closure, man. If you have the plot tower right now, give him closure. It was him who did it. <gasps> it's too late. It was an accident. Oh. Matt, I'm sorry. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, now the enemy is going to be the airplane. realize that by forcing her hand, you've just dashed. Oh, don't pretend this is all in service of some altruistic desire to save. It Bob. is. This was all so you could assuage your own guilt over abandoning her. No. Was it selfish for me not to want my best friend to die? Yeah, come on. You bet it was. Oh, what do you want to round up? Are they gonna get locked? <gasps> what do you expect it? Alexandria. Run! Now you say run. <laughs> Close the door! Oh, yes! I blame you. What? I may have pulled the trigger, but none of this would have happened if you hadn't come back. He was... Why couldn't you just stay away from us? He wasn't there for you! For Caroline, yeah. I know. But it sounds like she didn't want that, so why don't you just stay away from her, too? It's easy to point fingers. Man. You ruined my life, Stefan. No, actually, you shouldn't shoot when you can't too. see what is out there. No, not before I know that Bonnie's gonna be okay. And God only knows how many more ways Damon can screw this up by the end of the day. I mean, sure I mean, I mean, you know what? You know what? I put up with this during the entire Damon. And so conversation, and now, 
Are you, are you fucking kidding me? The only reason why Bonnie has a chance right now, it's because of Damon. Okay, yes, it was a bad thing to for him to force her to open the door when she didn't want to, okay? But for him, he will rather have her hating him. He will rather sacrifice the forgiveness that he was, he, that he just got just to see her alive, okay? Like how many times in the name of love have all of them done something bad? Don't, I just, I just, I can't, I can't with this shit. I just can't, okay? I just, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't. Yeah, why else would I another take her remaining years. Let another take up her burden. Wait, what? Wait, what? What does that mean? She will become a hunter. Do you think I can? Oh, shit. Bring <gasps> <laughs> oh shit. Oh no, what about Bonnie and Enzo? Okay guys, that was the end of season 7 episode 20 of The Vampire Diaries. And uh, you know what? I'm I'm getting I'm getting very tired of uh the how they all the time keep mentioning how selfish uh, Damon can be. I do like the fact that Stefan, well, before he made a deal with the armory, Stefan actually told him that he sees the good. He's still mad at him for abandoning him, you know, but that he sees the good that he's doing, you know? Uh, and I hate how Enzo, how Caroline, you know, they twist uh the things that they do they twist the things that damon does and they are like oh we're just waiting for him to fuck things up you know and to just end this and and i just i think that it's it's so annoying that they do that because like damon said and so thought about it you know but he didn't want bonnie to hate him he didn't want to make a decision for bonnie uh, but uh, Damon, time and time again, has proved that he has no problem crossing the line uh, to save someone, even if uh, that someone ends up hating him, you know? Uh, I think it's, it's, you know what, it's, is he selfish for saving his best friend? Yeah, he is, but I think that at times they have all done questionable things uh, to save the ones they love. Caroline with that guy that uh, she uh, tested her blood with the cancer and it ended up, you know, killing him in a more uh, awful way. Um, they, like, even Caroline killing all those witches in the past, you remember that she killed a lot of witches that were hurting Bonnie, I think. It was Bonnie or who, I don't remember who it was. But you know, they all have done selfish things for the ones they love. And and I just, I, I think that in this opportunity, and I, I it annoys me that every time Damon does this, everyone just has this moral uh, dilemma and they all believe they are above the things that Damon does, and and it's it's annoying. They all have had their fair share of doing selfish things for, you know, for their own reasons, and 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 that's why it's selfish, you know. Um, and they have cheated death multiple times, and Damon doing this actually got them time. Actually, you know, uh, made it made it. Um, Made, it, made the fact that Bonnie is still alive. She will still be alive. And Damon will rather having Bonnie hating him forever than, ha than not having Bonnie at all, you know? And this is some, like, it's a gray, it's, it's, a, it's progress. Let's remember that when we start the season, he doubted 
uh, when he needed to save Bonnie, you know, because Bonnie's life is still links to linked to Elena. The reason the, the the fact that Bonnie will die right now will mean that Elena will wake up, you know. And even with that, he's deciding to prolong her life, to give her the life he believes he she deserves. And yeah, she did he did this. Thankfully Bonnie had a backup plan and you know, it, it is what it is and it's it's what is um I don't know. I, I don't find it. Maybe it's because, you know, I love Bonnie so much that I don't want her to die. That I agree with Damon's ways. That I agree... And also because I like Damon, you know. But I don't... I sometimes feel like people... Uh, some people, because not everyone. Just like... They, people don't care about my opinion just because I like Damon. And that is very unfair, you know. Uh, I think that I try to explain the reasons why I support an idea or not and 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 you know maybe I am biased you know maybe because and now in this opportunity you can call me biased towards Damon and towards Bonnie because I don't want her to die you know uh, and then ends up this whole crazy thing with Bonnie taking Reina's place rather than just uh, Reina's life and he she took uh, they, uh, her place uh, in, in killing the um, vampires and all of that. And now Bonnie's in love with a vampire. And the thing is that Reina has proof. Like, they, they made it to be like, oh, she's going to hate all vampires. Reina proved that there are moments where she, as a vampire hunter and whatever, she still has compassion in her heart. And she was able to forgive Stefan, you know, and she was able to say, okay, I don't want you to die. Why don't you, your brother? So there is some flexibility there. So I'm guessing that it will take, um, what is his name? Enzo, m more proving that he is a good person and a good person for her. And that is going to switch her to the good side of not hating every single vampire, you know? Uh, but also, at the same time, it's like, she doesn't have a stone, a phoenix stone, uh, and she doesn't need, like, she doesn't have a weapon to kill them and to put them all into a, like, she doesn't have a very clear purpose. I, I don't think they, in, they, uh, said that she did. If she's reborn with, uh, phoenix stone as well, then things are going to be very hard to understand. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's very complicated. It was a very complicated decision that once again, you know, no one wants to take, everyone wants to do it. No, if, if no one is willing to do, to take it. Damon does. And then Damon is the one who's blamed for everything. And like, it's just annoying to me at this point. Um, but yeah, we have that certain line and I, I absolutely love that storyline even if it comes from you know oh everybody hating on Damon and blah 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 but I still like you know the dynamic I still like this story I think that time and time again this show has proved that they have story to tell and they are able to you know mix things up sometimes make loopholes in the way but this is still a solid storyline and then we have what happened to Penny um Matt's girlfriend um, and I, you know what, I, for a minute, I, I felt like overall, I know that the Matt deserves to be happy because he has gone through hell, everyone, okay, not just Matt, but everyone, but yeah, he does deserve to be happy, he was happy with him, with her, you know, and then Stefan comes back just to deliver flowers, to wait for Caroline, he was minding his own business. He wasn't hurting anyone. And like Penny comes out of the woods and with this hatred for vampires that he, Matt, created because he is the one who introduced this to Penny. And she goes around trying to kill uh, Stefan. And Stefan is just running away. And then Matt turns around and fires a shot thinking that he got a vampire. And actually, he kills uh penny it's an accident yeah is is matt to blame for this no is it stefan 
to blame for this, Stefan has been born and raised in Mystic Falls. He is being extortioned by him to leave town and to abandon his home. I don't care how many vampires, like, they have prevented from a lot of people who are also from Mystic Falls to, that wanted to destroy everything there, he has prevented them, vampires, good vampires, prevented a lot of uh, 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 killings, you know, from other vampires, you know, and to just put them as all vampires are bad is a very stupid thing to do, and like I said, he wasn't expecting, and for Matt to be this annoying to say, oh yeah, I might have pulled the trigger and kill her, but you, no, 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 the, the meaning of killing someone is that you actually pull a, a trigger and end her life, it doesn't matter what you've been thinking of or whatever, you still did it, okay? So if we're gonna blame someone, even though I believe it was an accident, we should blame you, Matt, not Stefan. I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna blame Stefan, and I hate that they are putting this on Stefan, because it's not a Stefan, I, I'm sorry, I, it's, I know that I'm like more pro-vampire than pro-human in this show, but this show is called The Vampire Diaries, why will I be on the human side of things? So no. Um, so I and now in, the, in Matt saying, of course, it's very easy to blame someone else for your own mistakes, and that is what he's doing. Okay, and 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 Stephen was kind enough to delete that awful, awful memory of Matt killing his own fiance, and he gave him the time to heal. But no, he was obsessed and trying to find the answer, and he blamed uh, uh, Stefan, when actually Stefan is not the one to blame. I'm sorry, but he's not, okay? He's not the one to blame. And then you have Caroline and Alaric, Rick. Honest to God, I don't, I don't see it. I don't see anything there. Like, I'm not gonna ship it. Are you waiting for me to ship it? Because I'm not. And, like, I feel like both of them are just settling for what they have. Like, they have a cool dynamic uh, with the girls and all of that, mommy and daddy and all, you know, because that is the roles they are playing right now. But there is nothing there. It's more like he's, like, I can be loyal, faithful, committed to you, and you can do the same thing, you know? So, is it really? Like, I don't see anything. But anyways, hope you guys have enjoyed my reaction video for this episode. Please give it a lot of thumbs up if you love The Vampire Diaries. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, go to Patreon, and that will be it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I will see you guys next time for more reaction videos for The Vampire Diaries. Mwah. Bye, guys.